In this vid, I'm going to be showing the first of three trade binders that I'm going to be updating for Ace Blade 258. The only thing he's really looking to trade for, though, is probably a Mewtwo EX, and everything else is going to be up for sale. So let's go ahead and get started with the Ultra Rares. So we've expanded this quite a bit, just kind of going through and seeing what he uses and what he doesn't use, and pretty much anything he doesn't use, even if it's playable, has gone into this binder. So we've got tons of playable primes, really good stuff, um, especially the, the uh, I know Celebi right now is at a peak. And there's quite a few others that are still doing very well, Zekrom, Thunderous earlier. Um, here is the, uh, the good Alphalithograph that lets you look at your prize cards. Uh, this one is the Undaunted one. A uh, full set of Mew primes. And here we have some older rotated out uh, level X's and some uh, Arceus. And here we have uh, special promos uh, starting off with pre-releases. So each of these cards has the pre-release pre stamp in the corner. And as uh, mixed in here, we also have some uh, state promos, city promos, um, that sort of thing. Like these are... Actually, I think this whole page, yeah, they're all promos. Uh, here's another pre-release. This is a Staff Leafeon pre-release. A Staff Poliwhirl from uh, States. Staff Tropius pre-release. All three of these Gibbles are Staff. Um, Pichu, just a regular pre-release. And this thing is pretty special. It's got some damage to it, but is it is a Yellow Cheeks uh, E3 Pikachu. See the E3 down there in the corner? Um, Mint, I think they go for like 20 bucks, um, so if we get like 5 or 10 out of that, I think that's probably going to be fair. Here we go to Special Metal, um, well actually Special Energy, so Special Metal, some Reverse, Special Dark, some Reverse, Rescue, and uh, we've got several stuffed in per sleeve, so if you want more than one of a type, just let me know. Uh, double color list, there is a full playset of Rev DCE. Um, this is a, a newer reverse DCE, and then we've got some of the just the regular uh, new DCE. Hollow Energy, um, these are all pop promos from 2009. Again, there's more than just one per sleeve. Uh, Hall on Phantoms Fighting Energy. Old Wizards of the Coast Grass promos. Call of Legends Hollow Celebi. And then on to stadium. So uh, I've kind of I've pretty much mixed all the reverses in with the regular, kind of like I do mine. So um, yeah, if you're looking for reverses, reverses are on top. However, there may be more reverses than what you see. Uh, tons of Pokemon Collector, including I believe. Um, well, there may only be one in here, but I know I've got more reverses. So if you're looking for more um, reverses, ten. I think Troll and Toad is selling their collectors for like eight. So maybe we can go down to like six or something. Typically, we'll match or beat uh, Troll and Toad. So Juniper, Pont. Um, I've kind of sorted this out by more playable stuff first, and. And again, as you can see, these are all the supporters. Lots of twins, including lots of reverses. And then here we go with trainers. So we've got some catcher, junk arm, reverse junk arm, eviolite, poke gear, crushing hammer. So just lots of really good playable stuff. Reverse rare candy. Those are pretty uh, valuable still. Lots of communication. And here we're kind of getting into the not so playable stuff, um, or stuff that you just we have so much of, just kind of bulk things. Um, for stuff like this, you know, we could probably do bulk sales for like, you know, some of these further back pages, maybe like a quarter, something like that. Fifty cents for a reverse. So that is the end of uh, binder number one. So we've got ultra rares, um, kind of special promos, and then en special energy. Uh, trainers, supporters, and stadiums. So, uh, if you're interested in anything and want specific prices, just PM me or comment below. Fastest way, though, is to actually make an offer. And, before I go, we're going to show off uh, John's, or Aceblade 258's, new kitten, Curlia. Of course, had to be named after a Pokemon.